everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. Today is Friday, I just walked through the door. It is about 3.15 now and I wanted to take you along on a typical Friday for me and my family, how I get everything ready for Shabbat. My husband just left to the beach with all of my little ones, which is great. I don't have any little people underfoot, so it gives me a little bit of time to get things in order for Shabbat. The house is a little bit of, uh, let's say, untidy. So first I'm gonna just do a quick tidy up before I get cooking because I can't cook when there's like a mess everywhere in the kitchen especially. So I'll just take you along and show you how I get everything done. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Come and join me. So as you see, it's three o'clock and I just got home. I asked my husband before he went to the beach to put some stuff up on the fire for me so we could get going. So I have my osvo here and my oxtails in here and I'm going to be making my sourdough. So I have my pans over there heating up. So let's get started. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I've really gotten into making my own sourdough bread. And now that I'm home, I'm going to be taking it out of the refrigerator because it does have to ferment for about a few hours to a day to two days in the fridge before baking. So I'm just going to be taking it out and putting it on some parchment paper so that I could bake it in the oven. I started to put paper towels into my bannetons because I'm always having a difficult time taking out the dough from there. You're going to see that one of them one of the bannetons I left without paper towels and I'm going to be struggling a bit just to get the dough out and it's coming up right here I don't know why no matter how much flour I put it just does not come out and I have to go and dig it in uh, dig it out I should say but it's all good it still has a beautiful shape to it and we have been loving this sourdough I have had a few requests on making a video on how I make my sourdough bread, but I feel like to do the video on how to make the sourdough bread, I first have to put up a video on how I make my starter. Would you guys let me know in the comments down below, do you want me to just make a video on how I make my sourdough bread or do you want the entire process from the very beginning? So as you can tell, you definitely don't need to have a bannetin or a Dutch oven. I used a bowl and I'm even using this Corningware set that I have. So it is possible to make sourdough without a bannetin and without a Dutch oven. Now that my bread loaves are in the oven, I'm gonna do a quick self-care. I'm just gonna do a very quick seven minute workout and take a shower, get myself ready, and then get back in the kitchen and cooking up the rest of the stuff. Self-care is definitely very, very important, especially for us women who are juggling so many different things. I have recently found this channel here on YouTube by Lucy Windham Reed. I'll have a video of hers linked below. It's only seven minutes and so doable. Okay, it's done. I did it and it was seven minutes and it was great. Now I'm gonna just head off into the shower, get ready for Shabbat and continue cooking. Okay. 
I love this new routine that I started to implement. I make sure that I get myself together before I actually start like really physically cooking in the kitchen. It just gives me peace of mind and I'm not anxious that I'm not ready and my guests are about to walk through the door or I'm about to be left with the kids and my husband has to leave to go to shul. I just really, really encourage everyone to just change up their schedule just a little bit to give yourself peace of mind and tranquility to greet the Shabbos. How good do these look? There's just nothing more satisfying than seeing that ear on your sourdough bread. As you can see, I am very excited. It took me a very long time to perfect the dough to get that rise over there. So I'm just so super pleased with myself that I was able to accomplish it. I'm just gonna spend a few short minutes just tidying up the space in the kitchen so that I could actually think and get a few things done. So I'll be placing away those Dutch ovens and putting away all the garbage. I'm also going to be taking things out of the fridge that I have prepped the night before. So on Thursday, I do most of my preps. And then on Friday, when I get back from work, I place things into the oven. If you haven't seen my full routine of how I get everything ready as a working mom, I will have a link for you in the description box below of a video that I have filmed recently. And I hope you guys enjoy it to see just the full routine of how I get everything done. This is Oshpiozi, which is stuffed onions that I'll be baking in the oven. I made this on Thursday and I'm just topping it off with some dried up plums, apricots, and some sour cherries. You don't have to add those, but I thought that it would be, give a very nice balance to the acidity in the tomato sauce. And let me tell you, it was super delicious. The full recipe video link will be in the description box as well. The dishes never end, but I do try to utilize my dishwasher as much as I can. So a few hours before Shabbat starts, I do fill it up to the brim and turn it on so that I have a nice clean dishwasher when Shabbat comes in. This is osvo. This is a, a stew that we basically eat on Saturday for lunch. And now that it's ready, I'm just covering it up and forgetting about it until Shabbat comes in. I just place it onto the stovetop, onto my hot plate, and it's ready for us for lunch. I'm going to be finishing up my oxtail meal over here. I'm just peeling some potatoes and giving it a rough chop, placing it into the pot and letting it cook for an additional hour until it's fully ready and sticky and delicious. Halfway through the cooking time of the sirkanis, which is a rice and chickpea dish, I take it out of the oven and give it a very good mix and place it back inside to fully cook through. The oxtail meal is now done. It's nice and sticky and the meat is just falling off the bone. I placed that into a dish so I could easily heat it up on the hot plate once Shabbat comes in. Mm -hmm. 
now it's time to make all of the salads my method of making salads is by chopping every single thing up first and then dressing all the salads at once at the end it just i feel saves me some time i don't have to keep taking out the avocado oil or the salt it's just all out in one shot and i dress them all and put them all away all of these recipes i do already have on my channel and i have a whole entire playlist of shabbat salads that you can feel free to check out At the very end of cooking the oshpiozi, the stuffed onions, I do like to take off the cover and let it caramelize in the oven for about 30 minutes. While I'm in the kitchen cooking, my oldest daughter is setting up the table. My oldest son has other Shabbos chores that he's responsible for that he is doing as well. The sircanis gets finished off with a lot of garlic that's been sauteed in oil. It's amazing and amazingly delicious. So I'm just sauteing the garlic until the aroma is very, very strong and powerful, but make sure not to burn the garlic. And then I put all of that sauteed garlic into the rice and chickpea dish, the sircanis, give it a good mix, and it is fully ready for Shabbat. Now that everything is fully cooked, I put the hot plate onto my stove top, place all of my meals on top of it so they could stay nice and warm until we're ready to eat it when my husband gets home from shul. For the Shabbat salads this week, I have the purple cabbage salad, carrot salad, tuna fish salad, egg salad, and a pickled cucumber salad. I'm going to be dressing all of them up, placing them into their containers, and putting them into the refrigerator.
One of the last things that I do is fill up my water urn because we don't turn on any sort of electricity on Shabbat. We either have timers to do things for us or we just have things prepared for us in advance like using a hot plate or a hot water urn. As you can see, like I said earlier, the dishes never end in my house, so I'll just be washing this last load by hand. The boys are off to shul. My daughter and I are just placing the final touches to our Shabbat table and house. And I'm about to light the Shabbos candles, but I'll leave you with a quick message first. Thank you so much for joining me in this Shabbat video prep. I hope you guys got some inspiration from it. I know it's not a full recipe tutorial like I normally do, but I just wanted to give you a look inside of my typical Fridays getting ready for Shabbat. If you like this type of video, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and if you'd like to see more videos like this. Shabbat Shalom from my family to yours.